many people don't know this, but the the strong female character is an accurate representation of what African women have been in throughout the history in our culture. What's going on everybody? My name is Salem Sini and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here in this YouTube channel, we focus on two things, faith and entrepreneurship. My desire is to help individuals such as yourself be more motivated, discover your purpose, and understand that you're God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. So recently, this past weekend, I had the privilege to go and watch the Black Panther movie. I talked about it, you heard the hype, I heard the hype, everybody heard the hype about it. It was, it was kind of like this high build up anticipation to go watch it. So me, a couple friends, some of my sisters, we decided to go out and actually finally watch the movie for ourselves. It was actually quite interesting. The movie had gotten there so much um, praises and a lot of from you know high level influencers from high level influencers, from TV personalities, from you know just movie critics all over the world were just praising this movie. Uh, so we're like, okay, we're definitely gonna go see it. It's actually quite interesting. I, had, I hadn't been to a movie theater for like months and before that one time when I, I did, uh, and I hadn't been in a movie, and I hadn't been in a movie theater in like, and I hadn't been in a movie theater for so long that to me I was like, okay, it'd be great, you know, to go back, get the whole popcorn and stuff. So I was excited just to come back. So I was excited just to come back and experience that again. But the Black Panther movie was kind of like all this praises because you know it was showcasing African culture. It was kind of like made up by us, but for the world, you know, it was kind of like a, a great way of, of depicting everything, the energy behind the the movie and what it entails. It was just an incredible all the nuance before you even watch the movie. Like I saw so many things on Instagram, my Instagram stories were flooded with people wearing their African garment, dashikis, um, uh, Nzambala, all those different things that they were wearing. And I was like, oh my God, it would be great to go and watch it. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I, I did not necessarily go with the whole African outfit, not because I didn't want to, at like last minute, don't get me wrong, last minute, I realized I didn't really have what I wanted to wear. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna wear something just kinda, just to you know please everybody and go with the crowd. Since I don't really have the specific outfit I wanted to wear, I'm just gonna you know do something completely different. But it was just great, you know, seeing the representation of what it meant uh, from people all over the world talking about the movie. I'm not gonna spoil, so if you haven't seen the movie yet, go and watch the movie. Uh, there's not such a thing as being late, right? That's dumb, like, go ahead and watch the movie. The good thing right now is that after two weeks, the price has kind of, you know, normalized a little bit, because in some states or some major market, it was like crazy, it was like almost like $24 a ticket. I was like, all right, like, let's come down now, like, <laughs> that's a little bit of high. Um, but you know now is a pretty good price so you should definitely go out there and watch it so i'm not gonna i'm gonna talk about some things i got out of it without necessarily spoiling the movie for you actually before i watched the movie one of the things that i was a little bit apprehensive about would be uh would they really showcase what africa is right so from the casting black actors black director black producer so i was thinking okay are they gonna really showcase what like genuine african culture in it or just gonna show what we think here in north america or rest of the world what africa looks like um you know knowing marvel and having read a little bit of the movie before i know it was like a two million two hundred million dollar budget for the movie so a lot of money was spent into it so in my head i was thinking okay so they're probably gonna have, do their due diligence you know knowing marvel and disney and stuff they're gonna do their due diligence and make sure the movie is right so from the jump one of the things that i loved is the, from the, the opening scenes and some of the things you saw from the jump, it was really well done. It was genuinely like they had some great shots. I don't know if they actually went on location and shot some of those things on location, but it really looked well done. It really went like there was a, uh, from the beginning at least, right? There was a, a, a pretty limited amount of CGI usage, meaning like virtual reality and stuff. Some of the image was really genuine like Africa and stuff. So that was kind of great. 
uh, to see. You know, they talked about, uh, for those of you guys who are familiar with uh, the Marvel um, Comics universe, you know, they're, they're, they're talked about this special material that they had over there, you know, which was vibranium, which is kind of like the strongest material in the world, the strongest metal in the world. And so, you know, that was kind of like their key things. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of different things with that. I mean, from the trailers, you can kind of see they're talking about that. So they stayed true to that. That's that's something that I love, that they did it very well. The dents were very well between the two. Another thing that I thought was interesting was how are they going to do the paradigm between the African and the African-American um, genre of the two, right? Because when you look at the storyline, some of it is, is you know, uh, juxtaposing the two different spectrum but not like pitting it against each other but more of like showing the nuance of like the old school and the new school vibe uh, another thing that I thought was really good is they showcased um, this different aspect of kind of like depending on what you think you're the the fight for uh, representation of blacks in movies or excellence in in black culture in movies um, I love the way they did it in this movie. They, they really toggled the line between a MLK style approach versus a, a Malcolm X style approach. What do I mean by that? So depending on how you grew up, you could have more of the MLK, Martin Luther King Jr. approach of peace and you know trying to find more of a, a amicable Oh, nice. Let's just talk this through. Versus a Malcolm X type approach, where it's like let's fight, let's let's you know use um, you know some kind of tangible action to get the word. It's not just by talking. You know, more of a of a fighting style approach. So they kind of like you know toggle the two, which I thought was interesting. The dance that they did between the two genres, and you will see that when you watch the movie. So I don't want to spoil that for you, but they did it very well. They even did it well throughout the music. It was that's something when I was watching it, I. I told the person that was sitting right next to me, I said, did you see that how they're 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 kind of like switching between the vibes of the music that what seems very African and what seems more of a hip hop style. And that correlated to also what message was being portrayed on screen, you know, with the different scenes that were um, being showcased. So that, that was interesting. I saw that the mixture, the, the directors and the producer did an incredible job. I think Kendrick Lamar is one of the guy who did, um, was part of some of the soundtrack for the movie. So they did that very well. It's heavy is more of like this more, if you're into that kind of music that has like a message, you know, uh, that talks about a lot of social justice and things like that. So that was kind of like pretty prevalent in there. Uh, another part that I loved in the movie was great writing. Actually, the the storyline itself was really well done. I didn't think that the it was rushed. I think it was well paced. You know, it gave a good time for character development throughout the movie, so that was good. Uh, they also gave each character good lines. Like, the, there wasn't a character that seemed kind of out of place. You know, I would say each character kind of had their own nuance. They came, um, there was some uh, comedic relief. <laughs> that thought there was really some funny lines, some funny scenes in there. I'm just laughing thinking about it right now. Uh, so those were great. There was romance. So if you're into romance, you'll like that. There was definitely action. I mean, it's a Marvel, it's a Marvel movie. So there's plenty of action for sure. Um, so, but it was really well done. And it's a movie that I think is family friendly. Like you won't have to worry about some scenes that you don't want your kids to see or anything like that. Um, so there was like that family friendliness that was part of that that I liked. Uh, the big takeaway for me that I, I got it from the jump, but throughout the movie it kept building and building, building that for me, and this is just my personal point of view on that, was the, the outlook of Africa, of what Africa could have been or what Africa has the potential to become from what we saw, what they represented with Wakanda. So Wakanda is the nation that, you know, the whole movie to come, takes place in and out of Wakanda, which is the nation in which, you know, the, the, the Black Panther rules as the king. So that is a representation of what Africa could be. And to me, sitting there, coming from Africa, coming from the Congo, having gone through what we've gone through, having seen Africa through the eyes of the media, having seen that was really an inspiring moment. And I think that was also some of the things that drew a lot of other black people to there, to see black excellence, to see Africa that, wow, this definitely, is what we can maybe have to look forward to, you know? So that was an incredible, you know, being able to see that, that was just kind of like, 
really something that for me was very touching <laughs> i really uh, it, it it really caught my attention i was like wow that's that's africa that's that's one of the possibilities of what could happen yeah just got a text message from a friend of mine she just went and watched the black panther movie and she was just giving me like a rundown of what she thought it's funny because i'm just doing it right now so that just tells you how much of an influence the movie has in the culture right now like i mean just the fact that everybody's talking about it but also what it means in terms of the uh, the the political climate that we live today where you know living in america and some of the reality that comes with, in terms of uh race relations so that's interesting i mean uh, seeing some of the the, but I mean to be true the movie was not always um, so well received everywhere some people were like okay it's too black of a movie there's so many black actors uh, you know just so much blackness in the movie what well, the reality to me I'm just surprised that there is such a response from some people out there because I'm like most of Marvel movies have been predominantly with Caucasian white actors right so if that's the case no one is complaining for those movies right so I'm not I'm not trying to say you know black power and stuff like that all i'm trying to say is that it's ironic that a movie that from the storyline itself has to take place in africa it's about an african kingdom it's about an african country it has to represent black people i mean this is not south africa they're talking about right so there's not no have that many white people in the movie anyway because it's not i mean i digress right so <laughs> it was just a great movie like it's a movie honestly I love the fact that the directors and the producers, the writers, really took their time to represent Africa well, to represent black people well, to represent even African American uh, and the nuance that it played in the movie very well. The, 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 there's even some, a little bit of um, shots, if I can say, that were taken at the idea of colonialism, the idea of uh, this foreigners who came and exploited africa so some of that is is, is kind of like put in there um not so much in a in a way that it makes you kind of like feel eh, uncomfortable but it definitely makes you thinking right it makes you thinking okay wow this this is one of those realities um so a great movie i highly encourage you guys to go watch it well how am i going to end without talking about this right the 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 aspect of the women empowerment that i saw in the movie was just incredible so this was much different than what we've seen in other like marvel even action movies in general there was this sense of women being in power being strong like the at no point really did we see um this person having to uh like the damsel in distress and then the main character going to save her because the villain was trying to get to the main character so he stole his woman or something like that right it wasn't so much that actually the the women that were portrayed in the movie were great strong character i mean there's this one scene that was just incredible near the end of the movie it's like wow where it it pins two different characters and just the symbolism behind that is really powerful and i think that is actually for more many people don't know this but the the strong female character is an accurate representation of what african women have been in throughout the history in our culture see this idea that in africa women are less than is something recent that many people are trying to portray on africa that's actually not the truth because when you look back in history uh actually even some of the kingdom that were represented uh, there is um i mean i can't say this without spoiling some of it but like the king has one of his royal guards are made up of women warriors and you see this also in the trailers um the reality is that is actually really a good representation of many kingdoms in africa had women warriors that were like the royal guard protecting the king women that were fighting so they have played a great roles they've been multiple times we've seen kingdoms in africa that were run by women they had queens instead of kings so that that is a, a good representation of the strength that women play in a role especially in an african culture many african culture are matriarchies instead of patriarchies so there's the 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 the, the female kind of like lead figure of the whole family right so they have matriarchies versus patriarchies so great movie overall i mean just an incredible the the visuals oh my god breathtaking the use of technology in there was just really well done and the movie was 
well left to a point where you definitely know a sequel is coming, right? Um, and for those of you guys who are familiar with the Marvel movie, so there's always like some nuance, the nuggets that they put in there to tap, uh, to, you know, tie it up to other Marvel movies. You know, there's one coming up later this summer, um, the, the last Avenger movie that's coming, uh, Avenger Infinity War. So T'Challa, which is Black Panther, is in that movie. He's been in part of the trailers. So they tied up really well. Um, <laughs> quick advice, don't get up after the credits begin, right? So if you've been in Marvel movies, you know they always have something at the end. I was surprised this time, you definitely don't wanna get up. Like even, just don't get up until the lights come on and somebody tells you to get out, right? So there's definitely a lot of nuggets that they've put in there at the end of the movie. Just an incredible movie. Like I really loved all the two. Uh, there's this one particular sentence, this couple particular sentences that were said that was really powerful. And uh, one that really arrested my attention was one that was said by the villain. The last words of the villain in the movie were, were definitely thought provoking. Not provoking for I think the audience in general, especially me as a black man, of uh, somebody of black and African descent, definitely it was one of those that was really arrested my soul in general. So, listen, that's all I gotta say. I give this movie an A. Um, I, I I wanted to say I give it an A plus, but the reality is I think that they can just kind of build on from here. So as far as from what I've got from now, I just give the movie an A right now for just great work that they've done. Big shout out to all the actor. Um, uh, I mean, their A-list cast. Uh, Chadwick Boseman, I mean, this guy has been um, working on some great stuff uh, movies lately I mean it did it did the movie with Marshall third good Marsh third good Marshall movie recently he did that uh, he did the Jackie Robinson movie so he's played some great roles you know uh, showcasing great African-American figures uh, great African figures as well now with this one um, uh, Lupita Nyong'o is in there uh, uh, Forrest Whitaker Angela Bassett, I mean, these are just people like, I mean, there's Oscar winners like Forrest Whitaker, Lupin and Yongo. I mean, great people who've just, you know, done an incredible job. So that's really all that I have to say. Go ahead and watch the movie. Uh, I, I rarely go ahead and like, you know, promote random stuff out there, but this particular movie because of the message behind it. And I think it correlates a little bit well to the marketing that was done. And that's maybe how I can tie it up to while we talk on this channel. And you know, when we talk about like entrepreneurship, as entrepreneur, you have to understand the marketing behind it. I was reading something that said how Disney, because you know how Disney is in partnership with Marvels, you know, they own some of the things, Lucasfilms and things like that. Disney went on the heavy marketing for this particular movie and it paid out, right? Because I think the first weekend, the first three or four day weekend, they made like close to three to four hundred million dollars. So they definitely made their money back and then some. <laughs> so I don't know what the global sales would be for the movie, but incredible movie. Um, Potentially might see it again uh, or maybe just wait when it comes out on DVD, but definitely a great one to have Well, uh, that's all for me today uh, If you're somebody who's hesitating hasn't seen it yet I'm pretty sure most of you guys have seen it But if you haven't seen it yet share this video to um, one or two people it might be helpful to them as well But I'll see you guys next time. Remember your guys very best Take care